This is Clemson Nanomaterials Institute. Here our aim in our lab is to make nanomaterials and use them for various applications, for example, energy generation, energy storage, or uh, biosensors for health, or photonics for computing. So I'm holding a piece of PLA filament here. It's transparent, but it's not uh, conductive. And we integrated the graphene into the PLA, make it conductive, and it turns it to black and uh, we use it to 3D printing any geometry we want and in this case uh, we printed uh, the graphene PLA electrode to uh, integrate it into W10 device. We have come up with an innovative design of a self-powered wireless sensor. This sensor has certain unique qualities which you won't find in commercially available sensors. For example, there are no batteries in this device as you can see this device is made up of a carbon composite that is 3D printed on a glass bed here. That forms the bottom electrode and this acts as the bottom electrode. And this is made up of a graphene that is mixed with a polylactic acid. Uh, PLA is an eco-friendly polymer. It is biodegradable and usually made from plant sources like corn starch or sugar cane. So we mix that with graphene additives and that makes this polymer nanocomposite extremely conductive. We cover the top surface with the Teflon, which acts as a top electrode. And Teflon is placed at the very bottom of the triboelectric series. So we like to utilize the difference between these two materials based on their position in the triboelectric series. So now what happens is that when I touch this top electrode that is Teflon, it makes a contact with the bottom electrode and it generates all these charges. Now all these electric charges, they are collected onto this copper ribbon. Now because this is a wireless, these charges have nowhere to go and all the accumulated charges, they create a very strong field around them. And this electric field can be sensed wirelessly up to a distance of 3 meters. This can be used for several applications and one such demonstration here is your smart mirrors. Let's say you walk into your bathroom and then the moment you step in, the mirrors become opaque or transparent. So these are smart mirrors for futuristic technologies. So this is like a remote which can be triggered by a mechanical motion such as a hand tapping. Now as you can see the mirror here is opaque but as I trigger this remote here it becomes transparent and you can see the contents inside. So just by a tap I can turn the mirror on off. So this is like a wireless remote that doesn't need any additional power sources like a battery or capacitor. So practically this device has infinite lifetime. You don't need any maintenance at all. This is portable, uh, eco-friendly. Uh, we are still working on the replacing the top Teflon electrode with more eco-friendly materials as well. But for now we can say that this is 50% eco-friendly. And the best thing is this device never ends up in a landfill like batteries when they reach their end of the life cycle. So you don't have to worry about disposing this Teflon into environment at all. Clemson Nanomaterials Institute is the first place that has uh, come up with this wireless triboelectric nanogenerator technology. Our uh, next step is to make these more flexible, for example, integrate them into textiles, integrate them into vests or integrate them into shoes so that you can be walking and be powering uh, devices. So our next goal is wearable devices uh, for powering, say, your Fitbit or powering your smartphone.